All right, so here's what we're going to need to make a super duper pooper scooper. <laughs> First thing, you always need some coffee, okay? You got to be caffeinated mm. when you're doing maintenance work. You're going to need this shovel. You can get this kind of shovel at Lowe's or Home Depot or any of the box stores. It's just an aluminum scoop shovel. There's varying sizes. You can just pick the size uh, that you anticipate needing uh, for your facility, okay? Uh, you're going to need a drill and some drill bits, uh, an angle grinder, and then you're either going to need, and you should have this, if you own a kennel, you should have a rivet gun, okay, because uh, they really come in handy. And if you don't have a rivet gun, uh, just go up to the Rural King or hardware store and get you a couple of uh, quarter inch bolts and uh, nylon uh, lock nuts. All right, so this is basically how a scoop shovel works. The scoop shovel is made out of aluminum, and I don't know if you can, can you see it, cameraman? There's these little raised spots in the scoop shovel, okay, if you get one of these lightweight ones. And what these four are for is to add rigidity, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the scoop shovel in such a way that we maintain a certain level of rigidity, uh, but we make sure that we have plenty of volume to pick up our waste. So the kind of shovels that I like have these two ridges here. And so I'm going to make a cut right across the center ridge. I'm going to go ahead and mark that with my tape. This is uh, painter's tape. It's great for doing these kind of projects. All right, so this is going to be my first cut. And what this cut's going to allow me to do is to bend the scoop shovel uh, so that uh, I maximize the utility of this uh, as, as a pooper scooper, okay? Now, if you make too shallow of a cut, then you can't pick up much poop. And if you make too deep of a cut, then you can't pick up much poop. So <laughs> the key is to make your cut exactly where you need to be so that your uh, pooper scooper is nice and balanced and you can carry around a lot of waste. So that's gonna be our first cut. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and get my, this is my fancy uh, face mask and I didn't used to wear this kind of face mask. I used to just wear safety glasses and uh, on my Instagram, <laughs> like uh, all the safety sallies were yelling at me so I went out and got this. If you'll notice here, what's happening is I'm going to kind of uh, meet my center line, but I'm going to allow there to be enough material to maintain uh, the rigidity of the bottom of the scooper. All right, and that's my three cuts. And now if I go with the double finger cross like I do when I'm dog training, uh, maybe when I go to bend my shovel, uh, it's going to bend the right way. All right, so I'm going to place my foot, I'm going to place my foot right here, and then I'm just going to press down. And I'll end up with something about like that, okay? All right, so once we put the bend in it, now, I mean, look, it looks pretty good, right? Okay, now, so the problem is we removed a lot of material, and so if you go to loading this thing up with poop, uh, then it's just gonna do what those commercial pooper scoopers do over time, which is just gonna kinda like, mm, get, a little, get a little bit limpy, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's not gonna work very well. So when you first make this bend, what you're gonna notice, you have some excess material here on the side, so we're gonna go Go ahead and cut that off. So what happens when you first bend your shovel, you'll just kind of have a little bit too much extra material there. So I clear that out of the way and now I can finish getting my shovel you know, I, I said earlier that I wanted it at a 90 degree angle, but actually I wanted it just, I want just a little more so that when I'm carrying it, the, the edge of the shovel points up, right? So I want my solid waste to kind of sit back into the uh, pooper scooper itself. All right, so I'm gonna kind of, again, uh, pull it in there like I like it, put a little pressure on it. And then I'm going to take my drill. Let's back show you cameraman and
Stop all signs, okay? It's a little bit of a very beginning material, so you can do a little bit of a Okay, guys, now look. So we're starting to move into the territory of having a pretty good looking pooper scooper, and it's super, I mean, super strong. You're not, you're not wearing that out at all. All right, guys, we're almost done with our project. I'm switching from a cutoff wheel, which is a little skinny wheel designed to uh, cut metal, to a flap wheel, which is kind of designed to clean up and shape metal, and it works really well on this soft aluminum. So I'll put my little mask back on. I'm just gonna clean up all these edges. And voila, we have at least a 10 year pooper scooper. <laughs> and this is going to make uh, my friend an excellent Christmas present. So if you guys are looking for a neat Christmas present to make for a friend in the dog business, well, listen, grab these supplies and make them a 10 year pooper scooper, you know. And trust me, this pooper scooper will last pretty much forever. The only problem you'll ever run into with this particular design is that these uh, scoop shovels almost all have wooden handles and if you leave them out in your training yard inevitably some dogs are going to start playing fetch and tug and chase with them and chew up your wooden handle. Okay. Other than that though, they're just about the perfect commercial pooper scooper.